So, how large is the tail? You know, he was asking me this. And she goes, I don't know, and I don't care. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just take it away, you know? And he goes, no, 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 got to know this, got to know this. So, asking her again, you know, finally she goes, okay, he goes, this large, this large, and she goes, no, 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 and he goes, this large? <laughs> yeah, 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 this large, you know? And then, oh, okay, how the head? You know, oh, the head, oh, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You know? No, no, how the head, how the head? I don't care, I don't care. Is it to the right or to the left? Look for the makas, the eyes. Is the makas more on the right side or the left side? My mother, who freaked out about this, said, I don't care. You know? And he goes, no, no, it's important, it's about that, I gotta know. Which direction? So she says, oh, more towards the right. Goes, oh, okay. And he goes, oh. You know, is it going in circles? <laughs> I mean, he was getting so, you know, right down there. <clears throat> Finally, get it all out, and then the last part was the heartbeat. Okay? So he says to her, You can see, you know, you can see the transparent, was transparent going before, right? So you can see the veins, and you can see the heartbeat, and you know, all that. And she goes, Yes, and I don't like, you know, like that. And so he says, No, 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 look, you know, really, look at this. Look at it. So she did just to shut him up. And so he asked her, okay, Lohe Mai, Lohe Mai. And he tapped. Yeah. Is that the time? She goes, oh, he goes, oh. And then she goes, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. He was able to say, decode, if you will. And then the old one way, they get all these messages, they put them all together, right? And he decoded it. And she says, and he goes, oh, my kai, and he's going on and on. And she's going, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> And he says, she goes, is it good? Is it alive? Is it, is it dead? <laughs> he goes, no, 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 this is the one, this is the one. And she, he says, uh, she says, what, what, what one? He said, oh, and so for the first time ever, for 10 generations, first time ever, our grandfather says, this is the one, kumu ilele uno kukuna. Of course, my mom understood, yeah? And so my mom goes, no, we don't want a messenger. <laughs> I want a regular person, I want baby, just regular baby. <laughs> No can, no can. This is the one. And then my mom goes, "You ready? You take them back." <laughs> no can, no can. You know. And of course, they, those days, no matter the high machine, right? So you got to go with the kupuna, right? So he tells her. He says, "No, this one. This is the rainy female. She get the light. So I have money, you know. And she gonna represent here the name." So, for those of you who may be familiar, of course, Ka'ivi, yeah? Ka'ivi means bones or ancestors, okay? Kuamo'o, Kuamo'o is the foundation, is the root, is the strength. Where is it coming from? It's coming through ancestors. This is the strength that is coming through the ancestors, okay? How is that happening? Through chiefs or the chiefs. Chiefs of where? The heavens. The chiefs from the heavens. So again, right there, that's spiritual. Right? Total spiritual. So with that in mind, my um, my mom said, but how does one, she, her question was, how does one raise <coughs> such a child? And you know, that's a valid question, really, you know. And he says, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> you know when they stop that easy, easy. <laughs> Just to be suspect. <laughs> no, easy, easy. You know? <laughs> and how does that happen, you know? And he says, well, two things. There's only two, like two kapus that one has to know about this. And that is, one, you no need worry. You no need worry because... Ah, uh, you never say no. 
So my mom, no, they didn't What you mean she didn't remember saying no? You mean when you raised this child? You never say no. You never forbid the child? Ever? You know, ah? And my, my, my uh, grandpa said, that's right, because of this. Because she's a kumu. She's a messenger for the kupunas. So the guidance that she will receive is through kupunas. You know. And she goes, I'd like to see them come down here and raise them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom said this later, she didn't say it. <laughs> that he needed to pass on. So I had to be with him 24-7 from the time of pretty much birth, you know, after the, after Paul drink milk here, and then be raised by the grandparents. So that's what happened to me. And I came into this world, and I was given, actually I was given a name, and, and my mo'o lelo. There's always a mo'o lelo with one when they are given a name. A certain purpose, there is a mo'olelo. So the mo'olelo for me and my name came before I even arrived. And that's how they did things like that. That's how my values, that's how it was done. That's how the, say, that connection, you know, like Hawaiians will talk about the akako and the connection. Okay. For us, yes, that was part of it, but even more so, especially with this kind, with the spiritual stuff, it had more to do with what's in the name. Because again, Hawaiian words are powerful. They are so powerful. They are so powerful. So going back to your notes on Pono, how to stay in Pono, Olelo, speak carefully. Use words very carefully. Remember, from the time you walk in the door now, you're theirs, okay? So the luxury of just floating around in Pilikia, ole, no can. As a matter of fact, to put this extra aloha for all of you folks, I am strongly requesting that, that they help you through your next 24 hours especially, the next 24 hours are so important. This is what they're saying. The next 24 hours is very important for you, okay? And I am asking them to, yes, make it so that whatever it is that you need to apply in your life, that it is done smoothly and easily that it be done smoothly and easily. Words are powerful. They can bring in heaven or hell at any moment in time. Hawaiians understood this. That's why the old sayings, things like, if you no can think Hawaiian, if you no can speak Hawaiian, if you no can do Hawaiian, meaning if you no can speak aloha, Think aloha, do aloha, no do nothing, go swimming, okay, okay. Nothing else comes through the mana'o, go neutral, no think, okay, serious. And all in all, wa, do not use the mouth to speak pilikia. Do not, do not, do not. This is your time. Remember I mentioned to you earlier that you are not put into this classroom just strictly by your own choice. You were placed here because your kupunas also called you here. 
because it is time. Because it is time. With the world being in such great huge shifts and confusions, it is time that your pono is so much a part of you that your pono is moment to moment. And the reason for that is because pono, as all creations, as all creations, begins with energy. Energy. These are things, creations, that, that all start from the very first with energies, okay, are sight unseen, but they are real. Sight unseen, but they are real. Energies make things happen. They have since way back when, in the days of our kupuna, that has not changed, to today, and will continue so tomorrow. <coughs> You can take different examples, for instance, of sight unseen, but evidence nevertheless of Pono. Evidence of Pono is around you all the time. The trick is, are you ready? Are you ma kaukau ika Pono? Are you ready to see the Pono? Are you ready to allow it to manifest itself? Manifest, pono, and manifest in your life, and I will say this one too, pono can manifest in pono, which is the excellence, that state of being, the excellence, that state of being, the rightness, or pilikia, which is the trauma and drama, which is the problems, which is the challenges, which is the experiences that you don't want, okay? There's only two categories that you ever, ever, ever have to ever, <laughs> and I mean ever, that <laughs> 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 you ever have to think about. And it's really simple. It is, it's simple. It's either you're either Pono or you're Pilikia. As my grandfather used to say, you either hapai or you not. Why, No more pot time, hapai. No more pot time. So you're either pregnant or you're not. <laughs> and all of us Wahine is in here get a, a agree to that. Right? We know you're not halfway pregnant, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell my cardio boy oh, yeah, halfway pregnant yet. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaiians are very basic in our philosophies. Okay? In our psyche, we really are. And the reason for that is because because we are very natural. Our nature is such that we are so close to nature. We consider ourselves in partnership with nature. And we are. All that is of nature, all that is of nature, is what motivates, really motivates the Hawaiian. You like the Hawaiian come to the party, make one big blue out. <laughs> you know? That, or music, or both even, more lots of both. <laughs> we are very patient, and we don't mind saying so. Sure, you know, the first thing you do is, all right, so, so, huh? what? Everybody can get together. Oh, yeah, everybody can get together. So, the kind, hui, have you got it? What'd you bring? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like no, so I know what I'm going to bring. I mean, you know, <laughs> we got to know the dish. Oh, yeah, I know it's only one o'clock, but hey, five o'clock coming, you know. <laughs> such a way that our kapunas understood, understood what works for us, understood <coughs> that words were so powerful, understood that one never, ever, ever kuhi another, in other words, makes assumption on somebody else. Oh, 
That's to find fault. Not money. You find fault, go and find fault for you. You know what I mean? Everything you put out there, everything. Our grandfather used to always say, Hui, <coughs> make sure anything you put out here in the table, yeah? Uh-uh, table of life. Make sure you can eat them. Everything comes back to basics. The universe. That which we live in. As we have since learned time and time and time again. Why do you think now the trend is, the trend is Green Island? What is that about? That's about taking care of our Aina. Why? Because one, we don't have that much Aina. We cannot keep polluting everything. No can. Because let's face it, even, even just of recent evidence, just of recent evidence, that nuclear power system, etc., that happened, the disaster in Japan, hey, guess what? Two years later, we're feeling them here. The world is not that big. Our kupunas understood this. They understood this. They also understood the mentality, if you will, the mana'o. They understood the pu'uvai. Okay? They understood the na'o. Right? They understood that there was only two places you needed to be concerned about. Just two. Not a whole lot of categories for concern. You know, not like how oh, the college, you know, in the college they go, oh, well, there's high self, low self, anything you can do. Oh, you don't remember this morning. Ah, what? Right? Left? I get confused. You know, of course. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't worry about the high, lows, out of self, whatever. Like, it's either you pono or you pee again. You pregnant? <laughs> you know, so I use that <coughs> on, you know, whenever I have discussions with my kami. <laughs> no, I don't always use my spirituality on you, only sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but there are times, you know, you go, no, this is da 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 You know, and I go, not. <coughs> and then I'll say something like, okay then. I guess you must be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that on me. <laughs> you know? But true, it all comes right back down to the basics of things. Aloha. Hono. It is your life. You can do it. You can do it and manifest it and have all the energies that work and reproduce itself because it has to reproduce, okay? Okay, let's go to Science 101, if you will. Okay, Science 101 is about, you know, like reproducing like. Okay, apple, going to reproduce apple. Not mango, not papaya. Right? Apple is apple. Okay? Papaya, papaya. Right? So we got it. We got that. Okay? So, when you, manao, when you think in terms of pono, Pono conditions, okay? You're going to reproduce Pono. It's going to happen. Pono will be attracted to Pono. Pono reproduces Pono. Aloha reproduces Aloha. Don't take my college degree for that one. <laughs> Our Kukunas already knew about that. Okay, okay. It's just that sometimes, you know, I my grandfather used to say, hey, because he was, you know, Kaliva, canoe man. So his metaphor for everything was the canoe. You know, I heard about the canoe ever since day one. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 you know? And he would say things like, don't forget now, we're all in the same canoe. <laughs> And I'm going, yeah, Grandpa, we can be all in the same canoe, but how about if I don't choose my brother to be in the canoe? <laughs> We're all in the same canoe. <laughs> you, you, you're supposed to help, brother. 
Tarota, canoe. Oh. Yeah, but you know, I don't know where Broadway put his back. <laughs> then go help him find the back. <laughs> so he can <laughs> you know, to my grandma, everything was simple. It is so simple. What's your pinnacle? You know. And I would go, how about, we don't like our brother. How's about that? You know, it's like, well then, brother, no more than pinnacle. You get the pinnacle. <laughs> you know, everything's come back to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you couldn't say nothing else about it was always about, ah, oh, if you think you're a better paddler, then paddle. Don't worry about the other one that's not paddling. You just paddle. You can make them go, it's okay. And then one day when you need to take a break, brother will take over. I go, no, brother, never take over. <laughs> oh my, but brother, I can say, never take over. <laughs> We have this big here out of ways. We would be out on the reef where don't come upon our way. <laughs> we live on this planet, and this planet is small. This is so true. The canoe is such that we're all responsible. We're all responsible, you know? So I would say, okay. I get up. So I would say, okay. How I would get brother to become a better pattern. How do I get brother to become a better pattern? I'm talking to, you know, my Kuna. And my Kuna, of course, has answers to everything. And they do. Oh, I can tell you, they do. Oh. You know, if nothing else, my Kuna, our grandfather, would always say, Hui, Ikaponomea. And that would like bring down the dark cloud. Ikapono <laughs> man. Everything in here. Ikapono man. There it is again. Ikapono man means, okay? All in, all in pono. All things are pono. All things are in pono. Ikapono man. Everything is pono. That's the answer for everything, okay? Now, in my youth and before I had more evidence, <laughs> and before I had more experiences, okay? You know, doing the human job took a lot of time, okay? So, before I got to be good at my job, I had to really learn some of these things, you know? So, ikaponomea was that every time, remember I said, words are powerful, okay? Words are so powerful. The kupunas use the mea. The kupunas use the mea. They used it in olis, yeah? They would say or voice things in the oli or the mele or the pume, okay? So what they were really doing was working with really truly working with energies because they understood energies, okay? And taking those energies into, you know, today's word is the ethers. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't what? what is that, something for me? No? <laughs> but they understood this. They understood this because they understood the protocol of human, and spirit protocols. Remember this morning, or just earlier, I told you about. I said that we had three. Yeah, I gave you folks three words. Yeah. Anybody can tell me what those three words were. Those who were already here in the classroom sitting up. Okay, so we said pono, right? And ilinai, which is the trust. Uhane, which is the spirit, I. And okay, HRV. 
This is the human, right? We said human recreational vehicle. Okay? All right. So, the pono is about understanding that everything is already in pono. That's where the ika pono mea comes from. Okay? So, the protocol behind that, okay, is the understanding that we are of two, um, we are of two dynamics, human and spirit. Okay, we are two dynamics, human and spirit. Okay? Now remember I mentioned earlier that there is only, in the, in the dynamics of human and spirit, there's only two categories that we needed to be concerned about. And they are? Pono or Pilikia. Okay? Pono or Pilikia. And that these dynamics are affected yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. Sorry, going so fast. Okay, Pono or Pilikia. And with those two dynamics in place, we can understand then that it is about the energy. Okay, energy. Energy is the first experience. Okay, first experience, just say. Okay. So, to understand the dynamics of the human and the spirit, we have recognized that there's only two conditions that, that the human, really it's mostly human, human goes into, yeah, it's not, it's not spirit. I don't care what anybody says, and I'm going to say this right now, okay? Spirit does not need cleaning. Spirit does not need fixing. Our kapunas are real adamant about that. You know, it's HRVs that need cleaning and fixing. Okay? Not the spirit. The spirit is always in perfection. It's always in place. It's always perfect. Okay? It's the <clears throat> HRV. <laughs> but this human recreational vehicle sometimes hit a lot of potholes. <laughs> yeah. Spirit no hit potholes, spirit fly over potholes. <laughs> Nothing stops spirit from its existence, okay? What makes the difference is what kind of experience, either Pono or Pilikia, that we want to manifest in our human experiences. It's right in here, okay? This is what we say. Words are powerful. Namea, words are powerful. Think aloha, be aloha, hana aloha. Act aloha. If no can, then go to the ocean, get, you know, washed up, go swimming. Okay? Uh, for the mind, think nothing. Okay, go neutral. Okay? For the waha, don't even go there. Don't even go there. Okay? Now that's something I tell my husband, you know, sometimes. Han, look his face. <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, yeah. And I go, you know, like, take me there. <laughs> and he goes, okay, you like some ice cream. <laughs> now that's after 43 years of marriage. <laughs> but yes, it is truly about energy. They understood the dynamic. You did not have to be a rocket scientist to understand this stuff. All right? Our kupunas already understand it. You know when The Secret came out? Oh, wow. Everybody was like, oh, oh did you read the book, The Secret? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got emails, tons of emails. Oh, okay, you know what? The Secret is out. The Secret is out. <laughs> you was telling us about five, six years ago, you know? Yes, I was. And I was giving them that information through what we called, see, our winners already had it. We had that information. Okay, fine. We never write a book. We missed that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but, eh, come on. <laughs> we were too busy living it. <laughs> So for us, it was understanding that 
Na, here's the protocol. Na, kind of I. This is the laws. Okay. Na, kind of I. Ho, o, ko, a. Okay. Na, kind of I, ho, o, ko, a means universal laws. Okay? Remember I said earlier, there is a partnership. And the partnership that we often forget about is the other side of our world. In other words, there's the HRV, that's the one we live in day in and day out. That's that human side, okay? But there's also Uhane. There's our spiritual side too. And that side often gets forgotten. We forget that we even have a partnership going on there. Okay? We forget that we really even have kupunas that we can call on, not just in time of illness or pilikia or cement. <laughs> Our mom, before she changed address, about uh, 11 years ago? Yeah. Our mom, before she changed address, 1997, one of the things that she said, I will be there for you girls. Again, I will. I will be there for you. But no call me in just because you get pedicure. <laughs> I like be there for the luau's. <laughs> when you girls are happy and all that, I like be there. So no call me in just because pedicure. As a matter of fact, to us both, it was like, you two shouldn't have pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ma, you go ahead, okay. I see you over there. <laughs> you know. But yes, she, she was right, actually. She was right. We knew, okay? And we knew about Na Kanawai Holokoa, the universal laws, okay? This universal laws, everybody, is more important than the human laws, okay? And think about how much emphasis, how careful you are to not cross the human law. Okay, you go into, you know, like say, you go into Walmart and stuff, you load your wagon up and everything, you know. You know, just go, oh yeah, aloha to the clerk and keep <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, you're doing your aloha thing. <laughs> Come on, you know, the rest of the aloha is the kawa. Yeah. Okay, there is that exchange. <laughs> okay, and if you don't pay attention to that, why? Ah, you know, you, you, you are here. Okay. Well, guess what? It is even more prevalent, more of an urgency, that you comply, that you comply to the universal laws. Because when you do, and you have that in your face, so to speak, with aloha, um, um, you better off. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> not kind of my whole quad, the universal laws, okay? The first law, of course, is, well, the one that they were recently talking about, my students was talking about, is a kind of by, uh, kind of by mo aka aka. Kind of by mo aka aka, okay, is the law that, you know, they call the secret. Today they call that the secret. Our kupunas knew it as kanavai moakaka, the law of, of manifestation, okay? The law of attraction and manifestation. Kanavai moakaka, and also literally it means the smiling law, the smiling law. And the reason our kupunas referred to that law as such, is because they knew that every time you put out an energy, you know, whether it was verbal or telepathically or, you know, thoughts, whatever, okay, the energy uh, of thoughts that was put out meant that you opened the door to something. You open a space for something to come in and to be manifest. 
So let's say, for instance, oh, I just heard from my girlfriend that she went down and she got one 2011 Honda Silva with zero percent. Oh, CRV, zero percent interest. I went, whoa, nano key. She said, yes. So I said, oh, how did you get that? And then she said, well, because she understands this. She said, well, I manifested it. And I said, oh, are you in kind of fly? She goes, yeah. I go, how shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I can kid her. I said, oh, you want to waste your kind of fly on my car. How great. You know, she said, what do you mean waste? I get the car and I go and win. <laughs> So she decided, you know, she made that first step into the energy dynamics. You have to make a step, okay? So she did that. She made a first step into the energy dynamics, and she pictured visually, you know, a car, and then she looked in the catalogs, and she saw, oh, there's this car, it had the right color that she liked, and blah, blah, blah. You know, so she used the second, second protocol. Okay, so the first protocol was thought, second protocol is visual. Okay, so she used that also. And then the third protocol is her decision, yes. Okay, yes or no. So she got the yes, she said she, you know, listened to her guidance, and she got the yes, go for it. So she went ahead and did that. And so now she has all three protocols in place, using the Kanavai Moaka, when you use the Kanavai Moakaka, or, or when you use any, any of the laws, universal laws, okay, there's a commitment to that law. There is a commitment, okay? So she committed to that law, and she even stated that, okay, here's my order. I'm going to go ahead and buy, you know, I'm going to purchase the silver 2011 HRV Honda, you know, running condition, of course, brand new, excellent. And I always told her, make sure you get tires. Tires, batteries, whatever, right? So she did that. She did all of that and everything. And then she let it go. She just released it into the universe. That's the other thing. You cannot hang on to it and time it and all of that because that's borderline pedicure. That's from getting to pedicure. <laughs> you must release it to the universe. Okay? Knowing full well that the universe has its own timing. And your job is just to keep the pedicure out of the thoughts. Okay? And also, I would invite you to also be um, hmm, aloha to yourself a little bit more, and that is, don't go tell everybody. Some people have their own energies, and they might not agree with your page. Okay? So sometimes the gift, the makam, is better left with you. Okay? Sometimes it is. So you have to, you have to be, you know, also, in, keep in mind, you know, who you hang with. You know, because sometimes their energies, they don't mean to be, let's say, um, in Kirikia about something, but that there is a tendency sometimes because too much experience in the HRV. They never leave the car. Okay? They ride too long in the car. <laughs> So their, their thoughts, patterns, you know, may not be as tono as you would like them to be, okay? So you need to, you know, makana yourself, gift yourself with that knowledge to protect 
if you will, to protect your thoughts, your garden, your creative garden, okay? And so it's with this energy and with these thoughts that the law of attraction and manifestation works. Our kupunas knew of this. This is their words for it. Kanabai, meaning the law. Moaka'aka, meaning smiling universal. Okay? They said smiling law, and the reason they did that is because they knew that the dynamics of human, buhane, and spirit, you know, spirit and human, are in this partnership. It does work together. So really and truly, the first protocol is to recognize that you have a partnership going on. And do not use it just when in Pilikia. Because I tell you what, if I was one of your guides, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know, I mean, nah. Always, always the aloha. Always make sure that that aloha is in place. And then the other protocols also to this is the kanabai aloha. Definitely. Kanabai aloha, the love. Oops, we're coming through your festival time. Okay, so aloha, and then of course, mahalo. Now, the mahalo works extra special, I would say, in the fact that this is the law of um, gratitude and affirmation. Okay, so this law works in such a way that your pule, even, your pule. Your pule is to be done. Now, you're, you're working not with the human. You're working with spirit, okay? So spirit has a different language. It has a different tone. It has a different vibration. So even the pule, the prayers that you put out here, for it has to be of a different tone, different wording, different vibration, okay? So in other words, instead of saying things like, um, oh, you know, like say if you wanted that HRV, blah, 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 you wouldn't say something like, oh, please, God, give me that HRV, you know, da, da, da. No, you change that. It's not about uh, feeling less than you are, okay? It's always about feeling your greatness, always about feeling your aloha, always about knowing that you are deserving of all that which you think and you can believe is the best for you. You are deserving of that. There is no such thing as not so. You are, and keep this in mind too, that there is only one of you created. Even if you are a twin, okay, there is still one. One of you created. That means that you are the best ever. You are the best ever because there is no one else to compare with you. In the other understanding, it seemed like we were always condemning ourselves. It seemed like we were always taught that we're not good enough. It seemed like we always had to measure up to somebody. You know, that is not using and being in your spiritualness. Okay? This is about you. This is about your greatness. This is about you can do it. You can make things happen. You truly are the only ones that can. You really are, okay? And so it's so important that you understand that the title for you, see, we all have titles. <laughs> your title here is right here, and so is your program, okay? In the teachings of Ho'oponopono Kiala, it is already to recognize your greatness. It is not about recognizing the conflicts, etc. Not about recognizing the human. We know what that's all about. It's about recognizing your partnership with your spiritual guides and with you and with those who you care about. You know, like I said, our mom changed address yeah, about 10 years ago, but she is still with us. 
and she is not with us in the Pilipia. Okay, we, we don't, no, no. We bring her in on the joyfulness of our life. We have her enjoy with us our lives because it's so aloha and it's so important, you know. And so therefore, the manifestation of the experiences, the Kanavai Muaka'aka, continues to manifest that same kind of energy. That's how it changes. Now, if there is a pilikia in your life and you're not too sure how to work it out, okay, just take it up to aloha level. That's what we say. Take it up to aloha level. Well, like my granddaughter used to say, oh, match him. Match him. You know what I mean? Match him. She goes, yeah, you know, Puna, you got to match the alohas. You know what I mean? Go, well, how you match the aloha? And she goes, you look at your hand, and she goes, and it has A-L-O-H-A, aloha. And she says, if anything you're thinking or anything you're doing, no match them, no do it. <laughs> That's cakey. And we all need to touch into that cakey side of self. And so with that in mind, Mahalo. Oh. We have the flyers. There's the classes coming up in September here on the Oahu. By the way, I will say that the price on it is very much, it's, it's just for those of you who have the yellow flyer. It's actually a little bit more than this, but our kapuna said no, this is the price for all of us. No, actually, it's a weekend class. Oh, no, no. Right now, the Not me. I need to do it that way. Sure, sure. Change the face. I know. I didn't realize that. Well, lucky we're in Ono. In flex mode. That's the only thing. Okay, good. You guys can come up a little bit more. Then I'm going to. So cool, but this is the same class that you're doing now. Something that, in my experience, has happened time and time again. That in order to navigate, and this is what we call moving, moving in the world today. In order to really successfully move in the world today, we really need to keep these protocols in mind. We really need to, um, for us, for instance, um, I have my Ohana, my family, and some of those that know me so well, we're always greeting each other with some of these key words that really activate, activate that pono and keep us so much in that everyday pono. So the lineup for that everyday pono is always be sure you're in jello. I mean, as funny as that may sound, it's really important, you know, to know that you don't need to take the world seriously. As a matter of fact, the less that you do that, the easier it is to navigate through whatever life throws you, really, truly is. Um, I found more and more evidence of that to be true. Um, for instance, um, just, oh, my teeth are already there. Anyway, just about a year ago, just to kind of put this out there, um, my sister was uh, making a transition in her career, okay? It is, it is good to address that the things that can easily lead us or um, throw us out of the canoe, if you will, are things of, as we've heard, relationships, yeah? Relationships. And then, of course, career. Career. And then, of course, um, the color. Financial. Okay. All of these areas, plus, there's more to them, but just basically, all of these areas,
can be and should be managed. Should be managed with aloha. Really and truly. And the reason for that is because the basics are the most simplest thing to recognize, again, is energy, energy creates, energy creates your experiences. Energy creates your experiences. Okay. The fact that you recognize that you are a spiritual being first, and if you haven't done that recognition, then you need to malama that. You need to really malama that as strongly, if not more strongly, than you even do the HRV. Can you even do the human? Okay? Because it's not really the human, okay, it's not the human side of life that's going to change the dynamics and creations. It's not the human side of life. Okay? Recognize that the human side of life is the arena for results. The human side of life is the arena for results. Okay? So if the start of your experience is to consistently think and look and drown in Pilikia, then the human results will be thoughts, actions, and being in Pilikia. It's going to manifest its own energy. It's going to manifest its own energy. Sometimes I like to describe it as um, people not really being aware of how many car crashes you have to take before you change either the car, the driver, the road you're on, or all three. <laughs> You want to avoid car crashes. You want to avoid car crashes in life. Okay? By thinking in terms of changing the car to a better car. Changing the driver, definitely, <laughs> to a better driver. Changing the road that you're on, the path that you're on, especially the path that you're on. So sometimes it only takes one or two, you know, adjustments. But sometimes it takes all three, all three. So to avoid those car accidents, be aware of what you need to change. in your life are spirit beings too. Recognize that. Recognize that other people in your life are spiritual beings also. So they have their purpose as well. And they're going to have their car crashes too. And yes, sometimes their car crashes will involve you. Okay? But you still have the choice as to how you're going to react to that. How are you going to react to that? Are you going to react Hono? Or are you going to react in Pilikia? Remember, the energy doesn't care which one. All it's going to do is reproduce it. It's not going to care whether you say, Oh yeah, but wait a minute, energy. Um, that was my sister's fault. 
Okay, she was drunk at the time, blah, blah, blah. I never know she was drunk at the time. I didn't get into the car with her. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have gotten into the car. But I did. Yes, I know. You see what I'm saying? You have still, no matter what, the choice. And let's say even if the choice is not to your best advantage that you find out later on, okay, you still have the choice as to how you're going to react to that. You always have that last choice as to how you're going to react. And how you react is how the energies are going to come back to you and place it on your table. Okay? Okay. For instance, my brother, <laughs> and I, you know, had this one brother who was such a, oh, you know, um, <clears throat> he was a challenge to the family. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Why we no paddle? Why we no paddle? Yes. <laughs> Actually, we break the bell. <laughs> so it was such a challenge, you know, to the family from day one. Felt like he was always from day one. And my, uh, <clears throat> I remember saying to my mom, uh, you know, he doesn't belong in the family. <laughs> he really doesn't. Mom, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't even look like us, he doesn't operate like us, you know, everything I could find about him. He doesn't belong in the family. And she would, she would say, yes, he does, and he's your brother, and yes, you need to treat him, you know, with aloha and all of that kind of stuff, you know. So when we were placed in charge, when the parents, you know, my mom and dad would be out shopping or something, and they would say, okay, you know, my brother and I, my oldest brother and myself, you guys are in charge of, you know, the house and then the kids. You know, and it was my brother and my sister and my two other brothers. And so we were in charge. And so immediately when mom and dad had gone, you know, I would tell my oldest brother, okay, <clears throat> you got the rope, you know where it is, go get them. <laughs> <laughs> the rope. We're going to tie it right up to the middle tree. <laughs> we had this all planned out, you know? <laughs> the farthest mango tree was way in the back where the cows were, you know? <laughs> so we would sneak up on my brother. Throw the tree off. That was so bad in the cow world. Next time we invite you in the family. <laughs> Get the, um, the sheep and throw them over here. And drag them over there, kicking his feet. And you know, I'm saying, I'm a devil over there. I never do nothing. Blah, blah, blah. And you go, well, yeah, we guarantee you're not going to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out there. And we, we really went. We were the <laughs> And then, you know, um, brother would, you know, my brother, we had, um, you know, like a basket of stuff. And, you know, ah, you don't need nothing because, yeah, your tuna sandwich and you know, all that. And all of that, we put him up in the backyard. The tree was nice and shady. I mean, <laughs> okay. okay, we had the TV. <laughs> but he had it made, you know. And so we would keep him out there, you know, thinking, okay, you know, one or two hours just before mom and dad got home, you know, then we would, you know, take him. So, yeah, this one time, <laughs> we dropped him out there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And you know, mom and dad gets home and everything. And you know, where's Terrence, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm shock. Oh yeah, our autograph. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. So my brother would go running out there and I'm, you know, talking to my mom and all that. My brother go running out there, you know, and he get he gets out there. And he can't wait my brother. My brother's <laughs> oh my God, you know. And my mom's going, where is your brother? And I go, oh, he fishing without a brother. <laughs> and she's looking all over and she's calling, you know. Why is she looks out, you know, out the kitchen window? And then my brother trying to wake up that Get up, get up, come funny, get up. You know? <laughs> My mom goes running out there, and he has brought him. Still tied up. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, that to us was major, you know. And okay, granted, we was like, what, 10, 11 years old or whatever, you know, but that was the mindset, because as soon as mom and dad usually left, Prada would be on the SPD you know? And we would be like, you know. So we had to do something in our own way. <laughs> it's just that we forgot Prada out there. We see people. You know, so, so, so. I guess the whole gist of that is, yeah, if you're going to do, you know, kaina, if you're going to do kaina, you know, to us that was kaina aloha, not total pilikia, okay, because our intention was not pilikia, no matter what, it was not pilikia. You know, we got grounded, we got good leakings, but, you know, it wasn't. So what I'm saying is, Brada, actually, Brada did improve, I have to say. Brada did improve for the next, man, maybe, Two months. <laughs> so, brother, that was a lot. You know? <laughs> that was a lot, you know? That was a lot. Yeah. But the main gist of it is knowing, okay, knowing that you are the person that makes the results happen. I mean, you're the one that's either going to have that car crash really dump all over Piniki on you, or not. Or not. Okay? With this happy now today, my brother, you know, one of the one of the ways that we get through the world with my brother, or I should say my sister's brother, <laughs> is, is that there are some people in the Ohana, and I'm sure it's not just ours, okay, but there are some people in the Ohana that is not on the same page with you. Yes. Really? Totally, just because you're from the same bloodline, you're from the same holly, and all of that, it doesn't mean that they're on the same page with you. It doesn't even mean that they operate in the same way with you. You know what I mean? So as far as we were concerned, my sister, I know she'll say this too, she says, oh, well, when the subject of Brada comes up, and I know she'll do this, is, oh, did you aloha him and not give him my number? <laughs> you know, in other words, do not activate things here. <laughs> you know, I mean, you do have that kind of a choice if it comes down to that. But also, I will say that it took a lot of maturity, so my brother has had to go through a lot of his own car crashes that none of us could fix. So we didn't take on that responsibility either because he really wasn't on the same page. So there's a difference too to be recognized with. Some people, including in your ohana, you can extend that extra aloha for helping or you can finally decide that, hey, wait a minute, they've evidently got to have their experiences. And you have to be willing to let them have their experiences. You know, that's something that as women and moms, and you know, we tend to think that we can fix it. Or we want to be able to fix it. But there's a point that we're not meant to fix it. So we need to recognize that. You know. For me, my brother, one of the things that puts up, say, the flags of recognition would be if he's around me or my daughters and they have their pilikia with him, which has happened, you know, um, I have to just ask him, hey, bro, look, they don't agree with you with that. And you go, oh, yeah, well, you know, did you get the for that or whatever, you know. Oh, well, you don't want to go there, brother, because they're not your kids, they're my kids. So, you know, there's the pono. I have to then, if it comes down to making a choice, 
of course, then Radha has to go his own way, the way he needs to do that. Whatever, whatever his thing is, and however way he's got to learn his lessons, he's got to, me, as well as myself, has got to let him go do that. I cannot always carry him, let's say. Okay? So is that aloha? Is that pono? Yeah, I would think so. The measurement for that is, how does it make you feel? That's one measurement. Okay, that's one really good measurement. How does the now feel about, you know, are you reaching him or are you not? Or are you being taken advantage of? You have to go into your inner self and you have to figure that out. And you have to recognize that not everybody, not everybody is going to be able to, you know, be in your canoe. Not always going to happen that way because we, our individual souls, doing our human experiences. However that forms out. Okay, however that forms out. So the most important thing is, really and truly, is to build your honor. Before you can even expect to save anybody. You really have got to build your own. Because you've heard the expression that, oh man, every time I try to help, you know, whatever, wow, I get so drained. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of that happens. You get really drained. That's because two things. Number one, you're not recognizing that they're a spiritual being, too. And number two, you're not recognizing that you have your own kiyakai purpose and that your page may not be the same as that other page. So you need to honor that, malama. Malama that. And that's not being, um, that's not trying to excuse yourself for anything. No, no. As a matter of fact, it's being smart with yourself. It's being very outcome-oriented. Because remember, the longer you stay in the energy of Pivikia, really, the more it manifests itself. The longer you stay in the energy of Pivikia, the more it manifests itself. You also have to understand that the world is such that when we were growing up, there were ideas and idealisms that was passed on to you that may no longer be of value in your present life. That maybe this way of thinking and being used to be the way you were brought up to think and be. Okay? And that it was a carryover, for instance from mom or dad, even. And that uh, many of their values were great in their time. It was so pono in their time, but no longer pono here. This is what, you know, ho'o pono pono is about, making right more right. We're not saying it was wrong. We're just saying <coughs> in their time, and then now it's this time. <laughs> so what was one of then, we're going to make more one of <laughs> You know, considering today's realm. Consider. I see do it twice. I'm trying to put a subject that people actually covered two different. One was a subject of being a hmm. That was a result of taking two exams. And then um, she got poisoned. That wasn't her fault. She ate food from it. got food from a restaurant. Yeah. And she was poisoned, and that wasn't her fault. Yeah. But it got her off the Xanax in the hospital five months under my roof a year. And then her mind came back, but everyone saw it. The light went on in her eyes. And she's just got nastier and nastier. And how do you turn out your 77-year-old mother? 
she won't stop. She gets me here every day. I don't know what to do with her. She affects everything in the house, all sure. the energy in the house. Sure. Absolutely. And she says, it's the least you can do is take care of me. I said, well, why can't you be kind to us? To be kind to you, it's your job to take care of me. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she just, she's out of control. I mean, mm -hmm. she just gets more empowered and nastier every day. <laughs> Is it her house or your house? It is my house. Okay. My husband and I worked our whole lives and paid this house off. I have a question for you. When did you become a therapist? Bingo. Bingo. People like that deserve Okay, it's deserve. They deserve a therapist. And you're not it. And you're not it. And until a therapist is provided for her, because you're not it, you're going to continue to live as a monster. So you have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. And that choice is not so much. Um, Thinking about it in terms of, okay, she's such a monster and blah, blah, blah. She's being, okay, that's, that's Pono. We, you know that that's the way it is, okay? But now what you need to look into to explore and research, you know, explore and research therapeutic services. Don't take it on. It's not yours. It's not yours. You're not a trained therapist. Do it one step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Get a therapist, research this. Talk to some people that know. I'm not an expert in it, so what I'm saying is you need to talk to people who are experts in this, you know, and find out. I'm sure that the question of what if she won't go has been a question that have handled many times. Allow yourself to stretch your pono. yourself not to lock into the impossibilities but rather to open to the possibilities. What a concept. Do it. Just do it. Anybody else? Never think that you are a victim until you really do start thinking you're a victim. Then you are a victim. Okay? When you think that you are a victim, what happens is lockdown. You get so locked into that energy, you get helpless. And you can't think outside of the box. Creation and spirit is outside of the box. It is never, never has been, never will be found in the box. Now, you heard that saying about, gee, you know, to be spiritual, you got to be out of your mind. Yes, that would be me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My whole for recognizing that. Absolutely. Because in the mana'o, the mana'o is in its own box, in its own boundaries. To be able to create, you must take yourself out of the box. Okay? Impossibilities are, are in the box. Possibilities are outside of the box. 
That's where you need to always go when you're going to venture into creativeness. You have to always think in terms of being out of the box. Absolutely. And this happens time and time and time again for all of us. We, we tend to forget that the possibilities for creations are absolutely possible, but you got to think out of the box. Those who are most successful, if you ever sat down and talked to them, let me tell you, some of their ideas are so way out there. You would go, oh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> whoa, you know? Oh, yeah. Their language, even, their manner, their energy, their vibration is way out there. Okay? And there's a reason for that because they are experienced creators. And they understand that anything, no matter, no matter where you're at, whether it's in your everyday life, whether it's to create in a career, etc., etc., you must think out of the box. You must start training the monopoly to think out of the box. Either think out of the box or get the hell out of the way. The box is your mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Yes. And everything else that's all about the negativity and the impossibilities, it's all in the mind. It truly is. It's all in the mind. Mm -hmm. We only have three, just, just, just three human elements that we would ever, 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 ever have to be attentive about. Just three. Just three to address. Okay? That helps to make things occur in our lives, to understand. Our human elements, the HRV, yeah, is the Manao, the Puruvai, the Manao, the Puruvai, and the Nao. These three elements. And then, of course, the fourth in partnership, but it's an element all its own, is the Ohani. Spirit. Okay, spirit. The mana'o is one that we task it beyond reason. By that I mean we forget what its main job is. We forget what its main job is. The mana'o's job, or the mind center, or that which we call the intelligence, and that's really debatable, that it's intelligent or not. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that's still questionable. So the Manao is about, its main task, really and truly, is about recording the experiences. That's what the Manao is supposed to, that's its task. Record the experiences. By recording the experiences, you're able to recognize quicker, faster, what's coming your way and how to react to it. Okay? By having a record or an experience recorded. It allows you to react better to life, to life, okay? In other words, the Manao will have things like, oh my God, yeah, gee, before I went to auntie's class, you know, I thought the world was such a dump ground and I was the ground. Everything was being dumped on me, blah, blah, blah. I'm the one who gets all the Vivikia. Every time I turn around, everything's in Vivikia. Blah, 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 blah. Vivikia, Vivikia, Vivikia. Trauma, drama, trauma, drama. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, yeah. When I first get up in the morning, it kind of like is all right, but you know what? The drama going to happen. And I'll wait, I don't know why, but the drama going to happen. 
You see, I mean, you cannot expect to change. You cannot expect to change the reality when in the file cabinet, if you will, it's full of trauma and drama. It cannot give you anything back but what's in the files. Trauma and drama, okay? Now, it can, if it's been programmed through disciplinary action, it's been programmed to think in terms of punning. Hmm. Then the reactions, because the file cabinet has more porno experiences, then the file cabinet can give you back porno. Sure, sure. Okay? The poo vi is the same thing. The poo vi is the emotional center. And it records the emotions. And the emotions is one of the strongest elements for results. The emotions is one of the strongest elements for results and changes to happen as you desire. Okay? It's not in the manaho, it's in the pu'uvai, it's in the heart space. And then there's the na'au. The na'au is the gut center, or as we refer to it in our Hawaiian way, the na'au is the guardian of the kino, of the body. It's the guardian of the body. The na'au is where all things, all things that keep the body vehicle um, surviving, you know, in good mode because spirit needs the HRV okay, to transport, to have experiences. The na'au becomes very important. And the na'au has only one agenda. And that agenda is to keep the body in puna. To keep the body in puna. It has only that one agenda. That's its job, period. It cannot, however, expect to do its job if the manaho and the puuvai is always running amok in the here. It makes it so hard then for the na'ano to keep the body healthy. Okay? When you don't have a healthy body, I can tell you this right now, your life is miserable. Totally miserable. So in a way, you look at this and you go, oh, okay, well, I always thought that the intelligence center ruled everything, not well, okay, then. I always thought the poo by my heart rules everything. Not. Oh, well, then, okay, then. <laughs> What's that? The na'au, the body. The body really truly rules. Okay? I mean, how many times? Maybe not in this class, I don't know. <laughs> but where too much stress starts to manifest itself. Okay? And your tummy gets upset and everything. And, and guess where you will live for the next hour or two? <laughs> I don't care what you think. <laughs> the mind may, may want to go to Walmart. The heart may want to go down to sister's house. But guess where you will stay? <laughs> it's not fully rule. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, <is> <laughs> Strong body, right here. The now, the now can stop you in your tracks and keep you there for a very long time. Okay? So we know that. So we do everything we can so that the manao and the pu vai don't cause stress. If we don't change these two, 
You know, these I refer to as the two inner children, the keikis, you know. If you, you know, the keikis are trained right, they're not going to be jumping all over the living room furniture. Okay. You can take them to other people's houses and they'll be okay. <laughs> You're not going to be embarrassed. <laughs> you know, these two, they get agendas. They get agendas. <coughs> And their agendas can bury you, can really make your life miserable. <laughs> okay? So that's why it's always good, I think, when the na'al comes in and goes, okay, enough already. <laughs> I don't care what you think, I don't care how you feel, okay, <laughs> enough already. <laughs> I'm getting sick under here. <laughs> and I'm getting back. <laughs> <You know? Ha>. <laughs> <laughs> and so there it is. The na'au is going to rule. It's going to make the results happen for you. Oh my, I don't mean to be rude. I just. Um, so you gotta remember that. These are the elements. These elements, once you have the recognition of what works, you know, and how to make things work in your life, you can make it happen. Now, as I was mentioning, my sister, about a year ago, she changed career fields. She had to, actually. She really didn't have a choice anymore. I mean, the kapunas were whispering to her. Her guardians, her guides, huh, my mother, everybody, you know, was whispering to her. And she really, you know, kept hanging in there with a career that was going pretty much nowhere downhill. And it was causing her stress and all that kind of stuff, you know. So that when she picked me up at the airport one day last year, you know, I went, wow, we may sit stay anyway. <laughs> you know, the stress was so high that I could just feel it off of her. So it wasn't so much what she said, it was what she didn't say. You know, and I thought, whoa, you know, so I listened, and the kapunas, you know, came right out with the message for her. And so I just told her. I said, hey, Tita, da da Da, 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 da. This is happening, this is happening, this is, you know, you need to change this, you need to do this, you, yeah, you need to. And then I'd say to her, as I say to many people, and that is, you know, we invite you to make the change. You have a choice, you can do it, smooth and easy, or go be rough, you know. <laughs> rough. You know, like rough. <laughs> no go there. <laughs> You know, she decided to take up on my advice. <laughs> yeah, to make the transition a lot easier, you know. So today, I mean, all the things that she was so concerned about, you know, she didn't realize because the manao, I have to say, this manao is very tricky. It can convince you, it can convince you that no, 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 what you're doing is oh no, you know. No, 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 what you're doing is, oh no, blah, blah, you know. And in the meantime, you're suffering, okay? So the true essence is, if you're suffering, that's not pono. I mean, that's first clue in, that's not pono. You know, you need to change it. How do you change it? Take it to the next level. Very important. Take it to the next level. How do you do that? Pule. Pule. Pule is like number one and strong, strong suit. Pule. Okay. Hana. Hana, number two, strong suit. Hana means put it to action. And then your third one, malama. Malama is to nurture it. Nurture that garden of thoughts and action that is on Pono. Nurture those three. Yeah. And then release it. Okay. Cut it from the mind and the heart. Just let it go. Release it. Okay. When you release it, like for instance, um, she brought up, what was your name? Amy? 
Nani. So Nani brought out that, you know, her mother in, the, in her mother's present state, her mother's present HRD state is not joyful. Yep. Her mother's present state is she is a monster. Okay. Actually, her mother's present state, what is really happening with her mother is that she is one, miserable, helpless, and total pity okay? and doesn't know how to get out of it. It isn't that she is meaning to do this, okay, understand that. Okay? It's not that anyone means to be this way, but that circumstances is such that places them in that kind of reactionary mode. That's why what I see and the message that comes through is Manaho is sick. Sure. Puvai is sick. Sure. That, of course, makes Na'au very unstable. With those three factors, that's what you look at. You do not look nor judge the person, ever, because that's a smokescreen that's going to put you on a track that isn't true. It's going to detour and detour you from further helping. Okay. So you have to understand that. You need to know that, no, this is a spirit. It just so happens that the HRV is sick and needs help. And that I, moi, am not the therapist. I, moi, am not the doctor. I, moi, better go get help. Google! <laughs> or whatever. I mean, you know, but do something else. You have to. You have to. So that that Pudikia is, and it is, it is workable. It is doable. It can be made on oh no. So keep that in mind. And that's, that's for just about anything. Anything you can possibly think of. You want to change something. Then you need to do the protocols. You need to work with spirit. Spirit has protocols. Okay? Spirit will lead you to further research and help and whatever is needed to get that taken care of. That's how it works. That's how it works. Anything, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, there isn't anything that the protocols in following spirit won't work at. Because guess what? We're all spirit beings. This whole universe is all about spirit, okay? Sight unseen is most powerful. You know, it doesn't mean that sight unseen there don't exist. No, that, that's not it. It's just that there's even more power that we need to tap into. And can, once we open up the manaho, the possibilities, and the pukubai, the possibilities, that's what needs to happen. It's that simple. Smoothly and easily. You know, like for those of you who might have been in Leanne's class yesterday, your favorite saying, smoothly and easily? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no leave home without smoothly and easily. So true, so true, so true. Examples of all of that. Evidence of. It exists. It happens. you got to do it. And nobody can do it for you. Nobody can do it for you. But you can. And you can start that happening now. One of the things that I like to do is like, I like to put things in my mahalo card. That's a, that's a tool that we use. Is we go, we either make a mahalo card, you know, or you can go down to Wong's. They have whole boxes full of mahalo cards. <laughs> and on the inside of it, you know, the, the outside is mahalo. Okay? And on the inside, I usually write in there, you know, mahalo meaning thank you, 
you know, thank you for whatever it is. You know, thank you for, um, thank you, let's say, uh, because mahalo is on the outside of the card already, yeah? So I use that, and on the inside I go, for, and then I put a blank here, you know, a line, this whole space, energetically we're holding space, okay? So energetically I put that line there to hold the space for whatever it is, and then I put here um, smoothly, I like to make sure that this is understood, smoothly and easily. Okay, this is considered um, hana. When you do a mahalo card like this, it's the hana. So it's putting to action this thought. So you're bringing this thought into a tangible arena. What you're doing. So you're bringing this thought into its first experience, or second experience, I should say. And the second experience is by bringing it into uh, this, it's your second experience with this. Okay. So then I get one of those um, uh, post, post tabs. And I just get one of those small post tabs. You don't need a big one because really, well, honey, it doesn't need a novel. Okay. No need plenty of words. Mia, mia, mia. No need. So then for the four, I'll put in, like, for instance, uh, mahalo for the health and wellness. You know, the health and wellness. And like in Nani's situation, mahalo Nani for bringing it in. Um, to say um, the health and wellness of my mother, of my mother, smoothly and easily. Okay. The health and wellness of my mother, smoothly and easily, or whatever it is. Because now you've activated not only the Hana and the protocols of the Holo Okoa, Na Holo Okoa. You've activated Naholo Koa, universal laws, okay, by using it in a text, if you will, in a text format. Okay? So you're using the universal laws, and by the tab that you place right here, and of whatever that text is. And the reason I put it on a, on a tab is because, you know, Hawaiians, we don't waste nothing. <laughs> and we also know that this is going to be pono, you know, in a matter of a days or whatever the uhane, whatever the spirit accepts the timing. So I know, ah, once that's pono, I can take that tag off and use this again. Hawaiians don't waste nothing. We recycle. <laughs> We're the original recyclers. <laughs> so then you use it again in your activation. You know. By my computer, because I get emails and whatnot, you know. I have a lot, uh, my mahalo, my mahalo cards have all of this and then, you know, I have several mahalo cards going, some, so, you know, kind of, oh, I gotta go through this and then, or I'll check with somebody and I'll go, hey, did you ever get this? this was this made point off? Oh, yeah, see, that was G over a year ago. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's photo. <laughs> Everything's photo. I clean it out, you know. Ah, okay. So, you're activating the protocols of Holokoa universal laws. Okay, not kind of by. You're activating not kind of by Holokoa universal laws. To work, to work creations, because again, um, spirit, Ruhani, creates for human, human enjoyments. Keep that in alignment. Okay. The universal or spirit creates for human enjoyment. That's how it works. 
And on further note, in September, we'll be in Kapahu. <laughs> and so if you wish to join us then, you can register in. And if you have the, we're honoring the yellow flyers. So if you have the yellow flyers, hang on to those yellow flyers because you're the only ones that are getting that discount. That discount. Are there any questions? So September things, is what? Um, is it appropriate for children? I have children 19, 13, and 18. What age would I bring? How are they in a group situation? That's I, I don't know. You have to think in terms of a group thing where we have adults and, um, you know, we love the energy of children, but oftentimes it's been my experience that when they're too young, they can be really, you know, because they get tired. Mm -hmm. And they get a little bit, yeah. Well, and it's, it's, it's the 19-year-old that... Yeah, 19-year-old yeah, should be, sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I? Uh, okay, I'm just curious, you know, we work together on almost with spirit here, and there's sometimes the spirit does, the other time spirit that kind of gets in the way, and I was just thinking about her mom. How do you, can you distinguish at times when it's really not that person anymore, but some kind of other spirit, maybe like a Tuhani Noho, that's, you know, grabbed on to that person, you know, and you, sometimes you can't even tell who they are anymore. How can you dis dis distinguish? Love. Love. Aloha. Buhani Noho or others that you speak about, which we often refer to as uh, Ana, the other side. Yeah. Those are more of uh, uh, spirits that are not with the love. So it's all about the love. So even when you're not even sure, I really wouldn't even go there onto the other side of things, but I would simply put more love into the space of creation. And that usually takes care of it because then the others can't get in. It just, it, it's, it has to be love or it can't happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, love. Just go with the love. Hmm? Anybody else? Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.